Hey, welcome back to thequintongroup.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton, and today we're going to talk about how to choose the right offer in a multiple offer situation. So you're a seller right now, and you've got your home on the market, and within three or four days, you now receive, let's say, seven offers. Well, if you're a seller, how do you know which one to choose? So as a realtor, we walk through each, each individual agreement of sale, look at them, and we look at the pros and cons, right? So number one is we're obviously going to look at the price. Price is going to drive a lot of times the, the, the main factor. Number two is the terms. You know, how quickly does the buyer want to close? Are they putting a lot of money down? How much is deposit? How clean is the offer? Are they removing all of their contingencies, right? So if you have two offers right now, let's just say that it was two, and, and, uh, and then there's one with 50% down and one with 25% down, well, the one with 50% down has a much greater shot at getting approved. And then if you have one offer right now that, that let's just say, has no home inspection and one does, then obviously the one without it is is a much cleaner deal so there's many many factors we look at the best deal out there right now is when a buyer comes in and they remove all of the contingencies right they have not they don't have a mortgage contingency it appears they're paying cash they put a hefty deposit up front right up front meaning that their earnest deposit is down it means that they're committed to the deal they're removing their home inspection they're removing an appraisal if there was a mortgage they're removing any and all contingencies in the agreement so that you know as a seller that once you go ahead and, and make a commitment with them and it's a done deal. They can't get out. So these are the, some of the factors we look at. Now, if it's a cash deal, then great, but not always it's always gonna be cash. But what we also know is sometimes buyers are getting a mortgage, but re just removing the mortgage contingency, but it appears to be cash. So if that's the case as well, you wanna find out, okay, I understand it looks as cash, but are they still gonna get financing in place even though it's not contingent? Now, if that is the case, then you might wanna then just verify that and then verify with the lender that is gonna get the cash from, they're gonna get the money from and the mortgage from and make sure they can get it, right? So just those little caveats in there you may wanna consider. So lots of things go into it. This is one of the reasons why you may wanna consider hiring an agent. You know, if you're thinking about getting your home in the market, if you're in a, in a multiple bid situation, you want any of our advice at all, simply reach out, call me direct at 609-398-5333. Thanks for watching.